a very warm welcome to Vasatha. Um, for most of you know that Vasatha is the senior VP and managing director uh, at APAC. Um, she has been with Inmobi since 2012. She has worn many hats in her time from strategy to product management and uh, business roles. Very recently, she has been nominated in Campaign Asia's 40 Under 40 Leaders. She is featured in Campaign Asia's Women to Watch 2020 list. Um, she has been featured in the top 50 influential women in media and marketing in India for three years consecutively. And she is also uh, featured in the Economic Times Women Ahead list in 2018. Uh, our conversation with Vasata to understand her journey towards becoming a successful leader. So Vasata, first question for you. You've been with Inmobi almost for a decade now. Can you share a few uh, cherished memories with us? I had a very non-traditional move. I moved from uh, McKinsey from the consulting side to Inmobi back in 2012 in the very early days um, and um, actually joined uh, the founder staff team. So it was, uh, you know, I would say a fun ride for almost, you know, the six to nine months I was part of that road. Uh, I think we were going at breakneck speed. So everything seemed like, you know, we were charting new paths uh, at that time. Uh, I think from there, I actually did a short stint in a product. I don't know, many people may not know. I was the first uh, geo-targeting product manager, uh, you know, uh, in the early days. Um, and then from product, I actually did StratonOps for a while. So I moved to StratonOps for about six months. Then I think when I took the India role that one year, uh, you know, with the India team and that time was quite crazy. I was settling into a new role. I had never done a PNL role. I had never done sales. Um, I had never even been like, you know, in, in a lot of external client facing meetings. Um, so again, I think I'm calling out the, you know, periods which were really probably crazy and hard, but I think you tend to remember that when you've been here 10 years. So yeah, overall, I think uh, it's it's been really fun here. You've done a lot of diverse roles, uh, Vasata. What are the challenges you had to face as part of this this journey? And, you know, how did you navigate through these challenges? So, you know, I think uh, the challenging part would be that, you know, for every role, uh, at least that I took up here, I had to really reinvent myself because uh, going into a new role, I never actually had the skills to get into that role. The personal challenge is that, you know, you have to keep pushing yourself uh, out of your comfort zone if you want to learn new things and if you want to grow. Um, but again, the good part of that is that, you know, uh, from the organization side, there's been a lot of support to also, you know, move out of uh, my comfort zone. So I think that's gone hand in hand uh, and that's helped to also navigate uh, those challenges. I think a lot of uh, people and women in particular tend not to ask for what they want. I obviously had to, you know, say that, okay, I want a larger growth opportunity, right? Or I want a larger role or I want an expanded charter. Uh, and I think I had to do that at every point of time, whenever I have moved uh, roles. Uh, but I think the good part has been that, you know, um, as uh, an organization, Inmobi has always been able to marry that aspiration or growth aspiration in us that I had uh, with uh, the right opportunity. Did you uh, face any unconscious biases at the workplace? Did you have to work through any of those? When you step outside, right, uh, especially uh, I think in India, in the media industry, right, there is a bit of uh, a boys club, so to say, right, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to the older circles uh, of uh, media folks, whether it's the agency or, you know, on the even the client side. And I think that used to trouble me in the early days of my India role because I used to be like, how am I going to break into this? Then I sort of you know, um, accepted the fact that you don't need to one do everything on your own, right? Um, you can have folks in the team who have complementary strengths uh, and skills to yours. I'm really happy that over the at least, you know, three, four years I spent in the India role, I was able to form a lot of connects on the external and client side, which, you know, are now just, you know, informal acquaintances. Um, so, and that didn't happen by virtue of, you know, being part of a boys club, uh, but uh, you know, uh, Piper's just being a lot of who you are. You don't necessarily have to, you know, go by the biases that exist. I'm curious, did your age ever sort of play on your mind or was that ever, you know, expressed as a, as a bit of a 
See, no one expresses it, right? No one expresses it uh, because, anyways, people are wary of asking women about their age. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody expresses it, but I know it uh, exists, right? Uh, it's okay as as long as you know. Uh, I think you bring value to the whole thing. It's fine, but yes, age age is you know also uh, a challenge sometimes uh, when you again. I mean, media industry typically people are very very tenured, uh, right? Uh, especially at the exec. in senior levels what is your advice to the young women out there who you know how should they go about getting their seat at the table i think when you're young and just starting out in your career there's a lot of hesitation uncertainty even you know you're not sure about what your strengths are for young women is that you really have to you know take that bet on yourself that you know you're good at something that's why you know you're you're where you are so you have to be your big your own biggest cheerleader i think as women we're not good at doing that right so we're always doubting ourselves so find a few good mentors in the early years um, i think that's really important as well what motivates you because i have never met a leader who comes back to the drawing board on a daily basis with so much enthusiasm and discipline and rigor so what keeps you going and you know how is it that you know you find the energy and um the sheer drive to you know just focus on not just the work itself you know the work is one part of it but also to focus on people on on building stakeholder relationships allies and all of the things that we spoke about the sleeping early helps a lot right <laughs> it it uh, it has built a lot of energy but yeah i think that apart the uh, whole uh, thing of you know getting things done getting moving forward uh wanting to do more um, stays i think the good part is you know at nobody i've actually never felt like i was coming to work on any day right in the last 10 years it's it's so much been just you know part of life in a lot of ways so it's it's like you know coming back to life every day just want to thank you vasuta as always it's a pleasure speaking with you